Last Saturday in Las Vegas, something very important and really interesting happened in regard to Elon Musk's Boring Company. The Boring Company's Proof Rock One surfaced at Resort World after laying the groundwork for the Vegas Loop's first station. The Boring pa Company published this video on Twitter of Proof Rock One emerging from the ground near Resort World over the weekend. Proof Rock One's latest achievement officially connects the Las Vegas Convention Center to Resort World via the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop and the Vegas Loop. Let's take a look at this video and see how it happened. <laughs> The Las Vegas City Council unanimously approved the Boring Company's Vegas Loop in December 2020. The Boring Company President Steve Davis presented the Vegas Loop project to the City Council members. Davis told the Council that the Vegas Loop would require zero tax dollars or public funds. Besides Davis, other members of the Las Vegas community showed their support and excitement for the project and the idea of being in business with Elon Musk. Among the supporters was Golden Entertainment Vice President Stephen Taylor, who managed the Stratosphere Hotel. We think it is an incredible addition to what we're able to offer as a city to convention business and tourists, Taylor said. We have been in support of this and think it's a great th thing for the city of Las Vegas. As early as July 2021, signs appeared at Resort World hinting at the Boring Company's Vegas Loop. Resort World put up signs that will eventually help potential passengers find the Vegas Loop station connected to the Boring Company's tunnel system. The Boring Company estimates that the Las Vegas Loop will accommodate up to 57,000 passengers per hour. It will have up to 51 medium-sized stations along the street including the Allegiant Stadium and other key locations. For comparison, the LVCC Loop has three stations located in the Convention Center complex. During the CES, uh, CES 2022, the LVCC Loop transported 15,000 to 17,000 passengers daily. That's a big number. So what do you think, friends? I think this is really interesting how this... Um, Proof Rock is changing the future of transportation via creating uh, tunnels. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla, electric vehicle, and Elon Musk related news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Let me know your opinions in the comment section below. You know, when I'm looking at this video, it looks like it's not really big. It's small, uh, but it looks like it's si enough size for Tesla vehicles to go through it or other electric vehicles. Let me know what you think, friends. Please subscribe to our channel and let's move on to our next Tesla story, see what I have for you today. Frustration is growing at Tesla Giga Berlin to a degree that even politicians now talk and say something has to change and to speed up the Giga Berlin's approval. Environment Minister Jörg Steinbach, who has been a very good supporter of Tesla Giga Berlin, said with reference to Tesla Giga Berlin, we have definitely a need for change in current regulatory law. It should be possible to make changes to construction plans in the current approval process without having to start the process all over again. And this is a great point because that's what exactly happening at Tesla Giga Berlin. Tesla decided to make change in the middle of the construction process and then the whole process has to start again. I don't know if this is good or bad for Germany, but things are slowing down and something has to change. So this is the story. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news if you would like to hear daily breaking Tesla news. German publication Stern reports that test the Tesla example shows need for change in Germany. With a view to the Tesla Giga Berlin settlement in Grünheide, Brandenburg's economic minister Jörg Steinbach sees definitely a need for change in the applicable approval process and approval law. It should be possible to make construction planning changes in the ongoing approval process without the process having to be completely restarted, says Steinbach. Steinbach told the Handelsblatt publication he expressed uh, understanding for the U.S. electric car manufacturer Tesla's criticism of the slow progress in the approval process for the Grünheide factory. Now, 
Tesla wanted to start production at Giga Berlin as early as in 2021, but the planning application was expanded to include a battery factory, which lengthened the approval process. According to the Ministry of the Environment, the test is in the final phase. Tesla is building the car factory in Grünheide using early approvals. Environmental groups fear the Giga Berlin settlement would have negative consequences for the environment and the lack of drinking water for the region. Well, then how do you build electric cars, right? In April last year, Tesla boss Elon Musk criticized the length of the approval process. This led to a decision about planning and environmental law in Germany. During a visit in August, Elon Musk basically said it was problematic if new regulations were issued every year and they reached a level where nothing could be done. The rules need to be reviewed regularly. You know, I'm wondering if Elon Musk regrets building Giga Berlin in uh, Germany. I know some of you have commented, friends, in the comment section and have said uh, Elon made a mistake. This is a big mistake building in Germany. But Elon has never uh, publicly said that it was a mistake or he regrets. And he probably will not do that. But I wonder what he thinks about this. Um, anyway, the Giga Berlin is getting close to final approval, but it's taking long time. Brandenburg's economic minister expects further investment from Tesla, among other, th other things. Therefore, the state government wants to review the approval process for the location of the car factory together with Tesla. We want to analyze the workflow and draw conclusions for the future, said Steinbach. In the future, some things should go better than before. You need to do this if you would like more companies to invest in Brandenburg and more companies to invest in uh, in Germany. Now, I don't know if this lengthy process of uh, evaluating the whole process again once you make a change is the law only in Brandenburg or throughout Germany. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section. If you are in construction or know about construction business and you are from different parts of Germany, maybe former West Germany, let me know if you uh, make a change in construction in the middle of construction or in your planning, you have to to go all over the process again. So this may be something only for Brandenburg or from East, former East Germany. I don't know. So what do you think about this? It's good that politicians are calling for change in the approval law because Tesla and Giga Berlin surfaced a lot of issues that other companies are watching. What if Google wants to make an investment there? What other com What if other electric giants want to make an investment and say, look, it took Tesla one more than one year to get the final approval. Although to be fair, we have to say that Tesla didn't have the full plan earlier and they got a lot of preliminary pr approvals, which I support. I think it's a great thing, smart move, uh, and they have got this far. So basically this is all, what, uh, uh, just about one year that a year and a half that Tesla is building the Gigafactory Berlin and they have done great advance so far. So let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. I'm going to look at Hannes Blatt's full report to see if there is anything more interesting I will report. So please subscribe to this channel for more follow-ups on this. We bring Giga Berlin follow-ups at least several times a week and daily Tesla breaking stories. And look what I have for you to share after this. Please subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up and let's move to our next breaking Tesla story.